Hi, Flat Earthers. This is Zach. Well, recently I have been receiving many emails from my dear friends telling me about a new formula to measure the curvature of the Earth. They also told me that the famous chart is incorrect. So for this reason, I decided to make a video about it just in case you guys have the same thoughts. Well, um, let's take a look at the charts first. They say this is incorrect because when they compare it to this type of websites, they see a huge difference. Well, that is right. I also see a big difference between them, but that doesn't mean that this chart is incorrect. Okay? I just drew the same thing in AutoCAD and I can assure you that it's perfect. The only thing you guys should know is that this chart is measuring something different from the website and that is why you see that difference. So the chart is measuring a straight and vertical line from the horizon line to the globe earth. The lines as you can see are vertical and those measurements are perfect. But what we should do to get the same results as in those websites and to get the correct curvature of course is draw a line from any distance in the horizon line to the center of the earth so we can get a 90 degree line and then we measure this little part over here why should we do this well imagine this part of this line is a huge building is it going to be 90 degrees on the globe or is it going to be tilted like the pisa tower of course it will be straight, right? So this is why we should draw a straight line from the center to any points of this quarter of the circle. And then to the horizon line and we measure the distance either by math or by software like AutoCAD. Now the question is, why do we only use this quarter of the circle? Well, because if the observer is looking right and you want to draw a straight line from the center of the circle to the horizon line, then all the lines you're gonna draw are going to be on this color of the circle. We can't just draw a line from the horizon line to any parts of the globe or circle. For example, to this side down here and just measure the distance. That's not gonna give us a good result, right? So I repeat, that chart is perfect. It's given the measurements of what it says, but it may not be what you're looking for. But don't worry, I just made another chart that you might like. Here it is. And I am going to leave a link in the description so you can download it if you want. Please, if you find any mistake, let me know about it so I can correct it. By the way, when you compare this chart with a website that calculates the curvature, make sure we are using the same radius. One inch can make a big difference when it comes to big distances, okay? That's all family, thanks for watching.